I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is April 25th, 2017. And in this video, I'm going to go over a problem I have. I just have a new problem. I bought a three terabyte hard drive to replace a drive on my server downstairs. And I have an issue. It's only showing up um, with 745 gigs. So in this video, I'm going to go over, explain why, it's, why that is, and in my case, how to fix it. Okay, now you can see I've mounted my drive through USB. And uh, I've got it right here. So I've got 745 gigs, well, 746, whatever that works. Um, but I don't have the full three terabytes. And I did format this drive before. That's why I kind of have it here. Um, but now looking around, there are three reasons why, at least three reasons why you might be having this happen. And here's a website. And so I'll put this in the show notes. And you can go here and get more information if you happen to have one of the first two problems. I have the third problem. Uh, the first problem might be that you don't have the right driver. And so I actually did this. I went over here to the uh, Rapid Store Technology Driver, and I went there, and it turned to the latest one I could not install on Windows 7. So I kind of went down the list uh, into prior versions, so I finally found one that would install, uh, but it didn't fix things. Uh, then also, you might have formatted your, t your hard drive wrong into, M into MBR by mistake, and so you could fix that, but that's not a problem I had either. Um, and in fact, to prove it all, I actually took this down to a machine, a Windows 10 machine I have that has everything brand new on it. And same thing, I couldn't do anything with it. Uh, so what I turned out was my problem was my SATA ports. So I have a, and I'll show it here later, I have a USB connector that this connects to hard drives, old ID, IDE hard drives and SATA 2 hard drives. And it works just fine, but apparently has a it doesn't have the newer stuff, so it can't handle t handle hard drives over two terabytes. Uh, and just to show that, I have it connected with it right now. And if I go look for disk management, search, and here I'll click on create and format a hard disk partition, which will open the disk management. And I should see it in here. And there it is. There's my G drive 746. And if I click on here and I get uh, properties, you will see that this is my Western Digital 30. It's my three terabyte drive. That's the correct one. Uh, but that's my partition. That's as big as it's going to get. And that's all you do. And if I sit here and I click on extend, um, you'll see you can't extend. That's all it can see. It can, and that's, that's it. You're stuck. And that's based on the fact of the SATA connectors. So, um, I'll go and plug it here, show you the connectors, and then I'll show you what I bought. Basically, you need to buy more modern stuff. I guess mine's just too old. Okay, so here's what I had before. I had this guy, which is just an inland, just kind of a generic, probably no name, uh, just something I can connect uh, to a USB, a hard drive, and an IDE, a SATA to a USB, just in case I ever got a hold of an old hard drive, just because I like to be able to deal with old things if I need to. And there's my pieces parts. It's just uh, outdated. So all I needed to do was buy something new. And so what I did buy, I guess I'll show it here. Uh, I kind of always wanted to buy one of these. So I bought this Inatech USB 3.0 dual SATA. Um, so there, got this guy. And so these things are kind of cool. Kind of wanted one for a while. So not only can they connect, but you can also clone. Uh, I don't have a need for cloning, but it's kind of cool if you do. So you can just Slap that bad boy in, mount it, uh, and then now I should be able to plug this guy in and actually see it. If I can get my power connected to it. So, long story short, um, if you got some old, I shouldn't say old, I probably bought that five, four or five years ago. Uh, but hey, time marches on. I guess we need to get new stuff. So it's just your cords. It could be. And it's a good excuse to buy new stuff, right? Okay, so that should mount. And right now I have not done anything to it, so it should remount as 745 because that's how I formatted it. He says, hopefully. There we go. Uh, just continue without scanning. Okay, so it still mounts it because it's, you know, that's what it is. So I'll go back to disk management. And 
and now I should be able to partition the entire drive. Just because of a stinking cord. Look at look at all that unallocated uh, unallocated space, right there. So I will click on here and say, eh, let's see a new. I don't know, I'll just uh, I should extend the volume. So I will do the whole thing. See what that does for me. There we go, 2794. And now when something says three terabytes, it doesn't really mean terabytes because of, well, because of two reasons. One, uh, when you're talking terabytes, it's usually 1024 times 1024. So you get this little weird number, right? Um, but just to make, to cheat, now the hard drive manufacturers use terabyte um, and they kind of cut it off at the one. And also there's some pay space they need to actually put some stuff. So you're not going to get exactly three terabytes. You're going to get close. So looks like it did it. And do I need to remount it or what I got to do? So refresh the screen maybe. Let's see. Oh, there we go. 2.72 terabytes. So there you go. So if you're in the same situation I am, you freak out because you didn't have that and you actually look at the partition, you see you don't see it. It could be just you have old cords. So go buy some new ones. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.